Welcome back to Let's Play Magic Duels. We're gonna jump into another online game for the day. See if we can't score another 20 coins. I think another necromantic summons will actually get me my coins for that quest, which will slowly push me closer and closer to another pack. Which may be another evolving worlds. It might be getting a lily or a Kaidian or an Chandra. I'm not too psyched to see a Chandra or Kaidian. I'm, I'm hype as all hell to see a Lily though, I'll tell you that much. Uh, he needs to join the match. He's rank 3 and I'm rank 1. Hector RH 1993. So he's one year older than our last live opponent. Oh, we can keep this hand. Hector RH 1993. RH. Well, Hector, good luck to you. Let's play some magic. Alright, I think we go into... Swamp, into forest, into our duels. Geek Creeper Vine can grab us the mountain for the giant here. Although I should probably grab blue. Welcome turn. is a creature that will punch me for two for basically ever, so I'm instantly on a 10 turn clock, which is pretty upsetting. And white blue flyers, it looks like. Gate Creeper Vine, and we're gonna grab the blue because it's the smart thing to do. The one power in the Nightfire Giant is not as relevant as Domain. Although Domain is requires basic on him, so I guess it's Convergence. An exciting new mechanic that I'm looking forward to though from the card. I've only seen one card with that mechanic. I'm already hyped to play a place into that card. I don't know if I've talked about what I play in standard yet, so maybe I'll do that this game. I uh let's see. Back in I've had I've had a couple pet standard decks. I try and do something interesting and a little bit out of the box a lot of the time. Uh but not too far out. I do with Zendikar Scars, I did a Mortician Beetle, Butcher of Malakir, Eldrazi Spawn deck that was about, well, I mean, it was about using Pawn of Ulamog. It was about sacrificing your creatures for value, that, that was the goal here. You amassed a ton of spawn from Pawn of Ulamog, you had Viserys here to scry one, Butcher of Malakir was a Grave Pact effect, so your opponent would lose their board while you used yours and Mortician Beetle would get huge. Um, and it was a lot of fun. I had one game where somebody played a... he kicked a right on a Precursor Golem, and at the end of that turn, I sacrificed spawn to scry one, one at a time, until I hit Butcher and Malakir, and I'd stop it and remove, so like, no, this doesn't do what I need. No, this doesn't do what I need. And, because I think I had, like, go for the throats or something, so I killed non-artifact things, right? Um... I'm gonna punch here with the mirror. I think I'm probably gonna wild size when he doesn't block. Because I'm not using it to block anything out here, flyers. Soul for Vents, great. Um so I scratch scratch guide. I eventually left Butcher on top. I top deck. I played Butcher. I think I might have tapped down for I might have sack one and two small. I played Butcher. I'm like, okay. You have how many golems? 33. I sack 33 spawn. He's like, okay, um, one of those sacks is my Yanowar elf. I have one golem. Okay, I sack another spawn. He said, okay. He said, go. He said, okay, I plummet your butcher. And I think I pulled it out afterwards. But it was pretty clutch and a lot of fun to do. Uh, we got first strike, two power, and there's a three thing here, so I think I'm going to be revivaling that cat on his turn, which is pretty upsetting. But I do get to Necromantic Summons a cat back to lock something down. I feel like maybe I want the griffin and Necromantic Summons. I'm not Necromantic Summoning. Oh, hello, Mr. Reprisal. Um, yeah, so that was fun. Send the car rotate out, so it was Scar's Innistrad, and in that, Innistrad, I think it was Dark Ascension, gave us this card called Demonic Taskmaster, which was a 4-3 flyer for 3 in black, 
the beginning of your upkeep, you had to sacrifice a non-black creature. Or, sorry, another creature. It might have been non-demon. But I think it was another creature you control. So you couldn't have two Taskmasters in once. They would make you sack the other one. But you could play Perilous Mirror, which would get sacked to the demon and shoot your opponent for two or their creature for two. You could play uh, Viridian Emissary, which would sack to fetch you a land. You could play Worm Coil, which would be there shutting combat down because they couldn't punch into a six power lifelinker. Um, I think here I want to Frost Links. I have two spells, right? I'm gonna use my own Frost Links for now. He's gonna countermine me. Fair. I guess I'm glad he countermined the. Oh, my Nisa! My Nisa, my Nisa! I think I'm still, like, dead on board. I think I need to play a Nightfire Giant. Here. So that I could shock the things away. Uh, I need him to buff one so I can reprise loot is what I really need here. Dauntless Servant Marshal is not relevant to the board. I mean, it does tap things, but... Alright. Twin Bolt would be kind of nice. In fact, Twin Bolt would be amazing right now. It would be the perfect top deck. Are we gonna get it? Are we gonna get it? No. Not Twin Bolt. Uh, so that is game. You did it, Hector. Uh, I think we have plenty of time to do another versus battle, actually, so we're gonna lump two in this video. Um, so yeah, and then... I think I ran Elish in there because it made things bigger, and I'm like, if I have to sack my task, if I have to sack Elish, I did punch for six with Taskmaster. Taskmaster was just great. Um, I ran like all the Innistrad rare duels that had double color activation costs for all sorts of different abilities. That was a lot of fun. I, I that deck I don't have. I still have the spawn sack deck. I don't still have the Taskmaster. Deck. I do still have the four Taskmasters signed by Chris Ron. Because he showed up at GP Vancouver that I couldn't go to I do at a friend's wedding, but I had a pal go and get four Taskmasters signed. Uh, this is terrible, but... Playable? He's on the ball here. Thank you. Somebody's ready and raring to go. I'm going to run out the Hinterland Harbor first, then. No, I'm going to run out the Giant Catacomb first, because it does let us for your soul. Um... Yeah, I played that text message. That rotated, I had Scars. Oh, just Scars, Scars Ravnica? No, Innistrad Ravnica, that's that was next. Innistrad Ravnica, what did I play? Innistrad Ravnica. Can't recall. I feel like it was some kind of sweet five color deck. Um I know what I played when the core set was in. But that was the standard. Oh, I can't read Soul anymore. He put a thing on it. Shoot. I might die to this guy, too. Um, and now what I'm playing is what I've played every course of rotation, which if you look at my Tumblr, I made blog posts about it. I usually blog about magic on my Tumblr. It's supposed to be a writing blog where I just write anything, but I end up most often writing about magic. I can read that. Card. I can reprisal that if I'd had an evolving mobs to fetch for the planes. I shouldn't have played the evolving mobs because this draws me planes, but it's not a reprisal. I will sack this for planes now. Um, the right now when I'm playing. Is what I played every core set rotation, which is when there's two core sets at once, because ever since the one with Nicol Bolas came out, we've had like 20, 21 walkers in standard at once. So I played this thing where you take one of every planeswalker, and then you play whatever is in standard that is great with planeswalkers. So I played Obzat's Aid when Ravnica gave it to us. I played. Uh, 
let's do the black here and maybe we'll reprise with his guy. Maybe he'll like pump into it with another call or whatever. Um it's twin bolt in me. Okay. This is interesting. This game is down to the wire very quickly. I like how both of our games are going to be fast. It's under following. Combat replies to this guy. I can leave Soul the Ember Holler. Boom. Alright, don't tell. What do we got? Forest. Basic forest. I right, can pass turn and uh, probably cool revival when we plays. Maybe reprisal, maybe I'm holy hunger, tons of Got options. We might wild size and then reprisal in every place here. That's not gonna work. What we're gonna do here is wild size. That to draw a card. And then I'll reef soul it in my or do nothing with it. Get on top. Get the line. We're gonna grab a swamp, I guess, just so we have the triple black. Don't really need anything else. Um, I don't really want to read its soul. I'd rather just block it for with Gate Cooper. If he has some kind of crazy sack tech with it, he has some kind of crazy sack tech with it. He deserves to do that because I'm all about that sort of shit. Um, but yeah, the so right now what I'm playing is the 21 walkers we have in standard. The 22nd card is a chain veil. I'm playing four Sylvan Caryatids to fix colors and block the early game. And then that leaves me eight slots in the main deck to do what I want with. At first, you know, I wanted to put a Chromanticore in, because Chromanticore is great. I wanted to put Perilous Journey in, because that grabs me two walkers, like a walker one turn, a walker the next turn. Um, I ended up settling on actually trying to win at FNMs. So I have an eight card main board against aggro. So I'm playing four Erish and Clerics, two... Anger of the Gods and two um, Crackling Dooms. And I think at some point I traded for a bunch of commands and I put Twin Bolts. Okay. So he does. I should probably have unholy hungered the near in response. Traitorous instinct in response. I'm gonna unholy hunger the near in game two. Attack and defend him. He's he's pulling some stuff out here, but he's running out of gas here. He's on one card, and I still have answers. So I think we're just gonna go. See Nightfire and Giant now. Mark Ripper would be pretty clutch right here, so I can start to come back. He sees a land, he can grab Thopters, which puts me in a bad spot. But he did. Not seeing a burn spell or use it. I'm telling time to see what I can get. Um, I can't see the mirror. I'll take the mirror. I'll take like my distance for later. All right. Um. Continue. So yeah, I and I think I now I'm main decking a foil ties command over I think one of the Irishian clerics. So I think I'm three clerics, two angers, two cardooms, one command. In the board, I have an ties command, a pair of Jamoka's command, a pair of Silvermar's command, a Colodon's command, one of each charm, three sea drinos. And end hostilities, and I think five charms, battle commands. Uh, I don't remember, I've lost count. I'm trying to pay attention to the game and think about what I think it was. That's what I'm playing right now. Um, before that, I was playing an attack like this. I was playing Crow. I played Rally for like. Two weeks. 
uh, five core rally because rally loses to hanger back walker and so i played perforos and i was also watching blue for jace i didn't have a place of jace yet so you can do that one. anything else you want to do Good. No, it's been shitty like dorks. Do I necromantic summons like a? Uh... No, I'm gonna save it. He's got something better. Did I have a prize with that? What power was it? It was, it was only three, right? Okay, I'm here. This is gonna be one of those games where I draw it out and kill him with the perilous mirror. I'm just not gonna see the other things. Um so yeah, I was playing Rally, but Rally was just way too inconsistent. It took forever, uh, and it just never worked out properly. Um Before that I've been playing Chromanta Flare for a while. Which was a lot of fun. Because there's only like if you assemble the proper Chromanta Flare, there's only like three cards in standard that can beat it. Elspeth beats it if it's non-destructible. If it is indestructible and hexproof, then the only thing it beats it is Ugin, uh, Perilous Vault, and maybe some of the sac effects like Foul Tongue, Crackling Doom. But those bar, those those have conditions of they have another creature. No, then it works. If they don't have another big creature, then it doesn't work. And I played some dragons and other big stuff so that they could go on to Command Flare. Alright, if that's what you want to do, man, that's what you want to do. Don't come at me when I have a perilous mirror to trade. Okay. Is that a goblin arsonist? It's going to one. Uh, Alright. That's not where I need to clutch this out here. I need something. Something good. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing anything. attack with a perilous mirror. And because he has the infection flows, I think I'm gonna necromantic summons the rune servitor. Because then regardless of what happens, I can draw an extra card out of it. So I can reprise on my own rune servitor if I have to. But yeah. So that's what I'm playing in center right now, so I've been playing um looking forward to being able to play fetches and I guess they're called Tango Lands now. Stopters. Seems pretty good. I could use like a tragic arrogance. Not a gate creeper mine. That's gonna be game. Oh, actually. Let's reprise on my own guy and see what I can draw. Full revival does not save me here. Well, I tried. Thanks for watching guys, I appreciate it. If you liked the video, consider pressing the like button and showing your support. That would help a whole lot. Uh, make me get some self-esteem after two awful losses. Uh, that should have been very quick, but I drew that second one out way too long. Um, consider subscribing to the channel. There will be plenty more magic to come. I've got some Final Fantasy, I've got Odin Sphere, um, I've got other series to start in the like works, but not for a bit. Reviews are coming. Um, but mostly, thanks for watching this episode. I appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.